And I want to talk us in a little time on final expense tonight. I am not talking about final expense leads. You've heard Steve and I talk about it many, many times. Final expense leads are marketed in a totally different fashion than uh, mortgage protection leads. Now, by buying mortgage protection leads, you're going to end up with a, a pretty good percentage that are going to end up being final expense clients where you're going to go in and show them coverage that is really going to be geared towards that critical period time frame where they're going to cover a portion of the mortgage for a certain amount of time. And typically, it gives the surviving spouse or their family the ability to make a certain amount of mortgage payments while they figure out basically what they want to do with the mortgage, right? If they want to sell the home, if they want to refinance the home, if they're going to turn the home into you know, uh, an investment property or a rental property. And so the final expense option, that critical period, is really designed to buy them that time. That really is the design of the final expense. So keep that in mind when you go into an appointment, and that may be all that you're showing a particular client. I have, you know, Steve and I take lots and lots of calls from agents that, you know, uh, their first response or that knee-jerk response, sometimes maybe even when you're looking at the worksheet is, well, this is all I have to offer them. You know, they have a two or $300,000 mortgage and I'm only offering them, you know, 20, 30, and 40,000 or 15, 20, and 30,000. You know, how is that going to really impact, uh, you know, them? How, how is that protecting the mortgage? And I want to encourage everybody to go back and listen to or watch the videos and go through that critical period. Go through that critical period video because it's really going to help you to understand why that is of great value to your clients. I had an appointment towards the end of last week and the client was an elderly gentleman. He was 80 years old and they had a $400,000 mortgage, but he had no insurance in place and his wife was really nervous. Uh, his wife was very nervous about the fact that this was their second marriage, and she had already lost a husband very early in his life, and he had left her with nothing except for medical bills. So she very keenly understood what can happen when somebody doesn't have any type of insurance or any type of preparation in place. So it basically bankrupted her when her first husband died in having to use whatever resources she had to cover bills, to try and pay the mortgage, to try and you know replace all that income. And she didn't want to be left in this scenario with absolutely nothing. So we weren't able to put a huge amount of coverage in place, but what we did was we took the um, options that we had, 7,500, 10,000, and 15,000, and we divided those by their mortgage amount, so their monthly mortgage amount. So let's just say that you're showing somebody um, options for 7,500, 10,000, and 15. Once I go through the presentation, once I go over their options with them and I let them know these are the options that you qualify for, so let's take a look at what these rates are going to look like. Then my next question is, how much is your monthly mortgage payment? So if they say it's $1,000, um, I pull out my uh, calculator on my phone and I type in 10000 and then I divide that by 1000 which is their monthly mortgage amount, and I flip that around so that the wife can see that. And I'll say this, $10,000, while it's not going to give you the ability to pay off the mortgage, it is, however, going to cover 10 months worth of mortgage payments for you so that you have time to figure out what to do. And a lot of times you'll open up a conversation at that point about whether or not someone's going to stay in the home. You know, do they have kids that live in the area? Are the kids going to help? Do you think you might sell the house and move into something smaller? Whatever the options might be or whatever their choices might be, you want them to know that they have at least some time to make those decisions and they don't have to worry about, and you hear us talk about this uh, in the training videos, you want them to be able to make a decision about whether they're going to put a for sale sign in the yard or a foreclosure sign in the window. And we never want that to be the option. We never want you know, them to risk losing the home simply because they, they don't have the means to be able to carry it for 
you know, a few months, a few years, even though it won't pay off the entire mortgage. So even in this situation with the 80-year-old gentleman, the great thing about it was she felt so much better knowing that between her and her daughter and this insurance policy, they were going to be able to cover the mortgage for almost uh, eight or nine months until they could figure out how to refinance it or, uh, you know, what they were going to do. So it's a great option, but the biggest thing that I see when agents kind of look at that option is you get it into your mind that it's not a great idea or that it's not a great option or that it's somehow substandard. And I think that the most important thing when you are working in that arena, when you're working with seniors, when you're working with, with people on a final expense policy, is that you remember that for a lot of people, this is a great option. Uh, for a lot of people, they've been declined by other carriers, they haven't been able to get coverage, and so you want to show them how this can work for them. Huge benefit and a huge advantage to a lot of people who don't have coverages in place. So make sure that your mindset is right about it. Make sure that your, um, you know, that you have your head right about um, how you're going to approach that. And like I said a few minutes ago, you know, you're going to come up with a lot of final expense clients um, through your mortgage protection leads. A lot of the leads that, that are going to be when you per that you're going to end up with are going to be clients that are, because of age or health, are naturally going to be final expense clients. Uh, we'll be back um, on next Monday, and then our hashtag for tonight is be a better agent.